thanks for joining again. Today we are in a place called the Kolilat in St. Thomas and we are in search of the Kolilat Great House Mansion. Uh, this is a very mysterious house, a long story behind it. I'll tell you that story while walking. So with all of that said, watch the intro. I do not have a crazy story to tell, like I dropped out of college or I quit my job and then traveled the world. I am just a normal person with passions I am willing to pursue. Follow me on my journey as I show you what I accomplish. I am Alex and this is Elite Jamaica. Peeps, we'll find it. Like, we never expect to find two great house one time. I swear we'll find it 15 I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, we're searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Yeah, peeps. So we are now in the community of Trinityville, around the Trinityville main road, and we're heading down to Coolilat, down to that house. All right. So, yeah, man, now follow me. Yeah, peeps, these are the condition of the road. In some places down the bottom, as I'm gonna show you guys, they actually used like tarmac. They fixed that part properly. Up here, they used the gravel, like literal gravel upon the road. Now it's subdivided into contracts, so we can set the man down at the bottom and do a better work than the person who had up this side. Up at the top, them used mud and dirt and everything there in the road. I don't really know why. But at this we have to deal with peeps. Yeah, man, we're up and away. Follow me. Yeah, peeps this is the current condition of the road in the lower Trintyville area this is where the wall had fell away yeah man so it's still so they're actually working on the road at the moment we don't really have no road on us still and this can go anytime however the work is what we have mm -hmm. so you know, follow me
So peeps, all of this was once a part of the Kolilat plantation as I told you earlier, which was actually the Surge Island plantation back then. Alright, so we're in a Kolilat going down to see this great house mansion. Alright, so guys, this is the Trinityville Health Centre. Some people call it Kolilat Clinic. Yeah man, over there say the peeps. A lot of persons watching this video when they were born this way they came for the immunization and all of that. Yeah, man. So follow me. Yeah peeps, so this house we are going in search of was actually the great house mansion for the holy lot plantation. Uh, the reason why I missed this house is that it was actually the house that Robert Lightburn had lived in. So I thought it was the birthplace of Robert Lightburn, thinking that it was built by the Lightburn family. However, I did not go over there, people, because I was. And then I did not have information enough to document it. Alright, so we're going back there today. I'm going to go inside of the house. It's a great house that is still in good condition. However, I was over there. So I'm going to know that I will go still Trevor Fred I was. However, we are going. And also, guys, I'm going to be showing you the tobacco processing plant it's not it's not up and running at the moment that's something we're abandoned but i'm gonna be showing you guys that because all of over behind me here it was tobacco all tobacco all right that was the last thing that was planted over here i mean i talk about in the 80s and 90s all right peeps so no follow me if you remember there'll be questions at the end of the video all right so pay attention all right yeah man Yeah, peeps, so we are now in the vicinity of the Robert Lightburn High School. I'm going to show you guys that, all right? Yeah, man, with this. Peeps, you know, see a home buck up on Jay Dana. Alright guys, so in the meanwhile, let me give you a brief history of Robert Lightburn. Alright peeps, watch this. Robert Charles Lightburn was a Jamaican politician and a former parliamentarian in the West Indies Federal Parliament. Lightburn served as a member of the House of Representatives of the West Indies Federation from 1958 to 1962. 
He was a four-term representative from 1959 to 1976 for St. Thomas Western for the Jamaica Labour Party, the JLP. He served as Jamaica's Minister of Trade and Industry in the 1960s and early 70s. The Robert Lightburn High School in Trinityville, Jamaica is named in his honour. Peeps, this is how the road is right now. This is the part that has been where they use tarmac. So it's a little bit better. Something we can drive on. When them take it for highway peeps, like fly them fly up on the road. and uh, just to let you know that we got feedback from the owners of the mansion in Jones Pen and uh, that house was actually built in 1989 all right it was completed in 1989 it actually took six for well, six years yes yeah, six years to complete so I think it started building in 1983 yeah so um, I got feedback from the owners and uh, yeah peeps that's just one of the lovely things about in Jamaica. Alright, so we're on our way. Follow me. Peeps, that's one of the houses over there. We're gonna get back to that later. Alright, so we're gonna go down here so first. Peeps, I don't know I'm just find out the great house. Them like them bush it. So the bush it means that them weed round it. So there's not a lot of bushes around it, so may I leave that for a second, my got the the tobacco processing plant peeps i'm gonna show you that guys and then we we'll go on to the great house trust me now that may i see it guys it's one of the gate posts them there you know peeps all right so yeah man i don't know where we go but we got the processing plant first follow me that's a part of the plant over there but we're gonna actually take it from the entrance so yeah man down there we go peeps walk walk to the end of peeps i want to thank you all for watching the show i want to thank you all for who take time out of your work take time out when you are cook Thank you all for all those who have been donating credit to Elite Jamaica for those who have been donating cash and kind to Elite Jamaica really really appreciate it not just help us it help others too all right you know that's all we're all about helping each other all right try to develop a community all right peeps over there that's the tobacco factory guys the tobacco processing plant so we'll try to find our entrance inside here yeah, peeps you follow me yeah peeps, this is the tobacco processing plant and we are going inside now. We are sitting out of here because we have one piece, we have one piece down there so and then we have the great house round at the back piece so we're going to follow. Yeah peeps, so we are going to Yeah, peeps. No, that's so much money. That's so much money.
so this one processing plant can't really tell the dimensions well the dimensions you can tell the dimensions if you don't know what was here but this seems to have been the office area Guys, this seems to have been a cafeteria at some sort. Another room here, guys. Yeah, this seems to have been a cafeteria. It's one eating area here, one eating area here. Guys, here's another part around here. We have around there, but so we look on the part there. So, I'm going to so the only secret, guys, I've always been afraid to come over this place. Like, seriously. Yeah, mama, I always fear, guys, come over. It smells like a cola bun, no? Mm. It's a cola bun. It's a cola bun, no? I always scared to come over this building, guys. Not sure why, just seen. This seems, guys, this seems to have been the outhouse area, or the bathroom area, or the restroom area. I'm sorry, I'll have a bit bathroom. <laughs> yeah, this was the restroom area, please. And you know what it is? Look on them toilet here. It's an original pig toilet, the man one. So I guess this was the male section and the other side was the female section but guys there is construction over here that was actually broken up alright careful of all here you feel like all here this is construction over here guys that has actually been broken up and uh, this seems like this was actual construction the original construction of the great house your peeps this was the original construction of the great house if you look at those 
if you look on the wall, them like seriously, the people them broke it down and build the next great house over there, guys. But I'm gonna show you that one also. All right, so come in. I'm gonna show it. So guys, you know, um, the great house that was here was a rather large great house before the one that we're gonna look at now because this is one of the walls right here that keeps running across. I know just major construction of this one. Right? And this was a rather wide wall. More concrete here, please. We have a mound of concrete down there. Yeah? Show you that. Okay, so. I think this was the foundation of the original gate. Construction material. That's right there. So these are the original great house seats. I wasn't actually looking for this foundation because we think it's gone a long time. Because this is one of the older plantations, which this great house are coming at the 1500s. Alright. But however, we still have foundation left. Let's go look on the great house that's left standing now. Alright, peeps, follow me. Yeah, peeps, and let me show you the, the, the look. A construction material is not it. This was from the original structure that was here. It's a mound of material that again. Alright guys, so this was a rather humongous house that was standing right here. So yeah, no follow me. Yeah peeps, so we find the Ola Great House, the one from another fifteenth century. We find the one then out. And this is the one that's left standing, the one that was built after. Uh, this is a Georgian style great house that was built after. We have a look on that now, peeps. Yeah, man. So, guys, this is another wall right here of the first great house that was here. And trust me, if I saw the wall, them tick peeps, you can imagine the house that was here. And that's it's all construction material, all broken down construction material that is dumped up behind there. But we still have a search to see if we can find even one of the column, them peeps. All right, so this is the great house, peeps that we actually come in search of. So guys, this is where Robert Lightburn actually grew up. All right. This is the birthplace of, of Robert Lightburn. However, this was the great house of the Surge Island. I mean, the Kolilat plantation. All right, peeps. The last time we came here, I'm really want like to thank the person who actually take it into hand to get this place cut really appreciate that now we can get the seat because it over here it was overgrown like seriously overgrown with wasps and all of that so here we are at the holy lot great house mansion This are the mansion peeps. Take a look at those walls. And we never did know, you know. Look for them all the peeps. We never knew it. I'm not gonna go inside still now because this place now look firm. Plus there are wasps. Alright. So this is actually the lower section of the house. Yeah peeps, this is the lower section of the house. Right, and up here is the second floor, which would be the main floor of the house. Here, yeah, peeps. We we'll find it, peeps. <laughs> Yeah guys, peeps, we find it. Like we never expect to find two great house one time. I swear we find the 15th century great house and we find the one where building at the 18th century. How much more lucky we can get.
there guys this are the mansion from the next side i think there's another entrance here also yeah man plus a back entrance so guys there are lots of entrances our next entrance is a piece for the show now okay, so. This is the basement floor again. The upstairs. Yeah, guys, this was a pleasant surprise, guys. I just came in search of this house and we'll find the remains of the first great house. I had the one before this, so couldn't get no better than that. All right, guys, I'm still out. Let's see something around us. So let me have a look. Not sure what that was. That could have been a storage area. Or it could have been a lockup. Not sure. But we know this couldn't have been a lockup piece because the lockup was around there where Paul Bogo was locked up. So this couldn't have been a lockup. You know me that I find one of the columns of the house, you know, peeps. There is more construction, you know, of the mansion that was here, you know, I feel like one this all of And this is piece of it keeps. So we come find piece of it, like seriously. And this is just one, seems like one of the columns, guys. So we actually find the two great houses them. Because I'm gonna show you a screenshot of the map right now, and then I'll show you a next screenshot, and you're gonna see the house here, and you're gonna see the mansion also on the maps. Alright, keep so. Yeah, I think this was a rather good find. Alright, but most of the house should have been back here, peeps. So, I just look at my see no more of the construction like that. Let me just see. So, why them broke down the, 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 the bigger mansion? Oh, so the mansion there, yes, so. And the jail over there peeps because that's a jail over there no peeps let us visit by the jail yeah guys as you know we did an episode where we came and documented this this was the jail where Paul Bogle was locked up he was held by the Maroons to be given him to the authorities. All right, they held him here first, and then when the military was put in, that's how the Maroons get him. Right? So, thank you. Yeah, guys, this is some shots that came out. I'm not gonna go inside. Well, let me see. Because the party is here. Around here was a deal. Actually, I'm gonna put a link to the video on screen where you guys can actually see that video instead of going inside because all of that thing you know that drop down from me. If you want you can go inside go look still. I'm gonna write one about. Guys, if you look at even that wall, you know how old this building is. Guys, look at that. The tree is actually grown into the wall, spreading its roots all over. Alright, so, yeah, man. We'll go over the next house now. We'll go, we'll go over the next house. Over the next great house. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah guys, so you know who remember the bus here. Anybody remember the bus here type like bus? The bus with the worst them night. Alright, and this is the slave masters quarters over here. Another mansion. So no guys, I understand why those columns are there. Come and show them my car. These columns, guys. These columns aren't a part of this house, guys. These columns are a part of the great house that was here before. Alright? So these houses, this and the other house over there was actually built after the great house was demolished. Peeps, we never expect to find that one that the 15th century great house. We think so that done with and like, disappear. But then from the great columns and from the construction that we found. Hey guys, uh, show them around. This is actually one of the cellar of this mansion. So, you see them column where the people are used, you know? Some real sturdy people, you know? Some real sturdy column where. Watch out. Come on, see that. Yeah guys, these columns are really thick guys and the board of them use like them also there for more than 200 years and they still not going away. Them things are just mm. Alright guys, so some persons might be wondering why a bus is there. Alright, we normally use this bus attached to a tractor to take workers round into the tobacco farms. Alright, so when the rain falls and stuff like that, the truck, the bus, the engine is strong enough to breathe. So they use the chopper to pull it. And then it's parked out in the field where they can have their lunch in the bus and all of that. So they have a place of shade in the sun to eat lunch. Alright, that's the story with the bus. Let me follow. Mm -hmm. I just sit and find pieces I can trust and I look for. And it's big, it comes all the way over your head. It's big, yes, big. All the way over your head, come but you can still see the wall, but it's not really prominent like that. Yeah, guys, this is the back of this house. So, peeps, as uh, we can still find three great houses in our one video. Alright, so, yeah, man. Construction from the great house, you know, behind us, you know. So that's a piece of wall. Piece of wall there, but we can't reach on it. That's a map of them, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. Guys, so if you see that, you can see that that's another piece of the wall right there, peeps. Alright. Not that wall, not this wall. Right there, peeps. The stone wall. Alright. So, we're going to Moving on. Guys, this is like a journey through time because we actually found the 15th century mansion, the 18th century mansion, the one we built there after that, and now we're gonna go to the house for the supervisors and for the persons who were in charge of the tobacco farm. Alright, and this guys is in the 80s and 90s. Alright, peeps.
whoever knows what that thing is let me know in the comment section below type the name in the comment section below all right that is used to call people to lunch This was actually where like the managers or the supervisors would stay, the persons in charge of the tobacco plantation. And this is in our time peeps. Alright, so you see how the thing just move up. We're moving up from the 15th century right up to the 21st century. Sting your heart. So the bus as of wasps. Be what's another bus there, the peeps side over there. What's like, whoa. Can I see them fly? Over there. Guys, this was the connection that was welded onto the bus to pull it. Alright. So the story was actually correct that I heard. You are going there, boss? <laughs> you are not going there? No, sir. Come on, go in there, we'll come and share them. No, you are not going to come and see them. That's how much people you can't hold. No, boy, you want to bite me up. So you know how to tell them how much, how much people it hold. Remember, you know, you're scared of cow, me scared of was. So yeah. why you want me to go in there, the boss, the was? And me and you are going there. Me and you? Yeah, no, you me go first. Go. You go first. You go first, I'm going to come out. Alright, we'll come back. Alright. <laughs> So guys over there is where you would collect your salary at the end of the week or the fortnight or the month that was the peer the peer the peer shop or whatever they call it all right i'm not sure the name can someone tell me in the comment section below please all right peeps so yeah man peeps so we found three great houses in one day one two three four because we have the one that the construction is not standing any longer. Alright peeps, so yeah. Hmm? Peeps, we're there with Jay from Jamaica Yard Life 101. Everybody know Jay from Elite Jamaica. Shout out to Jay, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I hear what to yes, want big up Jamaica neighborhood watch. Yeah. Grandpa, grandpa do him thing. Yeah, Shout right. out to grandpa. Alright, yeah. right, so. Yeah. Yes, family day, yeah, yeah, Whole family day, Whole family day. Whole family day. One love. One love, man. man. Alright, yeah, every time, man. We don't have to do otherwise. We Record, start record, come here, flip it to now. Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Blessings guys and thanks again for joining. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember guys I told you there will be questions at the end of the video. Question 1. What's the story behind the bus that we found? And question 2. What year was Robert Lightburn born? Question 1. What's the story behind the bus that we found? And question 2. In what year was Robert Lightburn born? Thank you again guys. It's been a pleasure. Y'all stay blessed.